This is a pack of Celox Z Fold Gauze. This is the standard version. There's also Celox Rapid. Now the difference between the two, this one will um, you apply pressure for three minutes and the Rapid you only have to do for 60 seconds. But let's have a look at this one. Um, on the packet itself, uh, it's got all the information on the front and all the full instructions on the back. It's got an expiry date on all of them. You need to make sure that they stay in date. Um, very simple to use. Uh, all you need to do is open them up. You just, again, you just tear it on the top or you can take your scissors and just cut along the top. And then again, always when you're doing this for real, you'd have your gloves on. Remove that out of the packet. Having this in Z fold format makes it much easier to use. And also it takes any confusion away. If it was in a roll, and there is rolls available, sometimes people wrap it around like a bandage, and that's not how this is designed to be used. It's used to pack a wound, and this is quite gory when you, when you think about what you're actually doing, but this actual dressing is forced into the wound, and that's where it will then react with the blood. So the way this stuff uh, is made is it's got the, um, the fabric itself, and this is then impregnated with Celox itself. As you can see from this, there is some of the granules coming off on my fingers. So if you've got gloves on, it's a good idea because um, make sure you don't get this into your eyes um, or anything. Although it's harmless, it will still cause you a bit of irritation. So as you see, the gauze here is quite a lot of it, and this will be what's packed into the wound. First thing you need to do is you need to find actually where the bleeding is coming from. So take another um, standard dressing, mop inside the wound, look in there, let's put your finger in there and locate the actual source of bleeding. And then with your gloved hand, you can pop that straight in and apply direct pressure. Then when you're using the gauze, it does fit nice and tidily into your hand. So you normally have your non-dominant hand, so I'm right-handed, so therefore my left hand is in on the wound. And then this here, so I can, you've got to look more with your hand to actually pop the dressing on. So it makes it much easier. So I'll remove that and I'll take that dressing and then I can pack that into the wound itself. And the next part, and pack that in and we're packing that directly into the wound now it will take a few moments to actually get all that in it's not so easy on a, on a, uh, a um, training aid like this but in a wound itself this is going to be painful however a lot of the nerves have been cut at this stage so the person wants to see you know, they're more worried about the amount of blood loss they're doing so once you've packed all that into the wound then direct pressure for three minutes Remove your hand and have a look, see if the bleeding has stopped. If it hasn't stopped, another three minutes of direct pressure. With the Celox Rapid, you only do that for 60 seconds. Um, after you've done that, you can bandage it up with a normal pressure dressing and make sure you tuck the wrapper underneath so that the hospital can see what you've actually applied.